Creating and editing surround projects. Open the Mixer Setup dialog and select the Surround preset. You can select the surround format for the surround master from the supplied presets and adapt them to the available sound cards in the Surround Setup dialog. If you press OK for both dialogues, you will see a display of the current position of each mixer track in the surround panner instead of the panorama fader in the mixer. Right click to open the surround panorama module for each track. Here you can easily position the individual tracks in the surround room. There are lots of different pan modes to help you do this. Sound field mode is especially suited to determining precise distances in the surround room. Panning law mode, on the other hand, enables less precise positioning, but more intuitive panning. In Angle mode, the determination of direction can be set up optimally, which is especially useful for flyover effects. For complex, analytical tasks, there's Matrix mode, which can be used to set the level for each individual surround channel. The surround engine enables not only the simultaneous use of stereo and surround outputs, but also the use of surround buses. This way, a surround AUX bus can be created in the mixer setup. This is automatically routed to the surround master and can be opened via the AUX send faders of individual tracks. Now, for example, a surround room simulator in the AUX bus can be created as an insert effect, which in turn creates real surround reverb. To fine-tune your surround effect, you can use additional surround effects as well as the room simulator. For example, EQ, Delay, Dynamics, Advanced Dynamics and Multiband Dynamics. For those who like playing around with the surround sound, you can route individual objects directly to the surround master or other surround buses. Here, each individual object contains its own surround panorama module to position it uniquely in the surround room.